no matter what you want to buy. You'll find it all on the hub. The SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. This is Beauty Beats, where we show you the secrets to the makeup, hair, and beauty ideas you've been searching for. Hi guys, my name is Tolani Aramu, CEO of Artistry by Tolani. I am a MAC trained professional makeup artist. Um, I just relocated back to Nigeria from the States. Today I'm here on Beauty Beats at Indani to show you how I add a pop of color to my makeup look. I usually start my makeup routine off by filling in and shaping my brows. Ladies, make sure you use a concealer that is not too far off from your skin tone to define the bottom and top of your brows. On to the foundation. I prefer to use a beauty blender to apply my liquid foundation and I do so in a patting motion. So make sure you don't drag the sponge ladies. Pat, pat, pat. Time to conceal, contour, and highlight. I like to use a concealer shade that is about two to three shades lighter than my skin tone and I apply it using a blending brush. I start by applying the concealer in a V shape and then I continue to add the concealer to all the areas that I want to highlight under my eyes, my chin, and my forehead. Make sure you go back with your sponge or brush to blend, blend, blend. Time to contour and define. I personally like to contour with liquid foundations and then set with a matte bronzer or a dark brown eyeshadow to define my contoured areas. My cheeks, my jawline, my temples, and my forehead. And once I'm done with contouring, I go back in with my pressed powder to set all the liquids, add some warmth to my face, and ensure that there are no harsh lines and that everything is well blended. Time for some eye makeup. I use my favorite cold eyeliner in black to line my eyes. Then I take my favorite liquid liner to wing out my liner. After that, I take a purple eyeliner to create the base for my pop of color. To set and add depth to the color, I take a matte purple eyeshadow and place it on the lower lash line. And to brighten up that look, I take a silver shimmer shadow and pop that into my tear ducts. Time to glam it up with some lashes. This is my favorite part of the look. Make sure you let the glue get tacky before you pop those lashes on ladies. And once that's done, go back over your liquid liner to make sure your lash band is well hidden. Blush time! I add my plum tone blush to the apples of my cheeks, then use my baked bronzer to add some glow to my skin. And I apply this to my cheeks, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Lipstick! Time to finish off the look with a nude lip. Liner check, nude lipstick check, lip gloss check. And there you have it guys, the look is all complete. Hi guys, if you just enjoyed watching that video and you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment, lifestyle and more from inside Africa, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now. And if you want to keep on watching videos, then just simply hit the more videos button.